the book of mark chapter 16 verse 14 later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. Jesus Christ resurrected after three days when he died. And there were witnesses who went to the grave and found that he had resurrected. There are witnesses who went to the tomb and found that uh, the tomb was empty and the angel is the one, angel of God is the one who was found there. The disciples of Jesus, some of them, a few of them had gone there and found the tomb empty. So they came to report to the others, but others did not believe. We as human beings, sometimes we find it hard to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, to believe in his word. We find it hard to believe the word of God because we have got heart. The heart, we sometimes, the Bible refers as the heart of stone, or we have got hardness of heart. We always need to ask God to remove the art of stone from us, the hardness of art from us, to replace it with the art of flesh. The art of flesh can accept the word of God. The art of flesh can, can make us have faith in the word of God. The art of flesh accommodates the word of God, it gives room to the word of God to grow. So unbelief is a, we can say that unbelief is a sin, is sin to God, because unbelief is the opposite of faith. We need to have faith in God, faith in the word of God, faith in Jesus Christ. So these people they had unbelief for what had happened. Sometimes we find that we as human beings, we end up in a position whereby we don't believe God. We don't believe in His Word. We don't believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. Unbelief is planted by the enemy, the devil. He plans unbelief in us not to, to believe in the word of God, not to believe that what God has said is going to come to pass. We as human beings, we need to reject the seed of the enemy that is planting in us not to believe in God. We need to ask God to give us a heart of belief, we need to ask God to increase our faith in Him because without faith it is impossible to, pl to please God. Anyone without faith cannot please God. We cannot please God when we come to Him without faith. We cannot please God when we come to Him without faith, without believing in Him and His Word. When we doubt in him and his, in his word, there's nothing he can do to us. So we need to come to him, believing in him and asking him to increase our faith in him. Because when our faith is increased in him, then whatever we ask in, in the name of Jesus Christ will be granted. All we need to do is when we find ourselves we are, we are having less faith in the Lord. Our faith has gone down. We need to ask God to cry to Him to increase our faith. 
And when we cry to him to increase our faith, he hears the cry of our inner heart. He will increase our faith in him. And whatever is ahead of us is going to do us miracles, signs, and wonders. So what always uh, prevent us from receiving the signs and wonders of God is unbelief in him and hardness of heart. We need to ask God to remove unbelief from us, the seed of unbelief planted by the enemy, to remove it from our heart, to remove hardness of heart, to replace our hard heart, hearts, the earth of stone, to replace it with the art of flesh, the art which will accept the word of God and do the word of God and practice the word of God. May we ask God today to increase our faith in him, to give us a, a heart of flesh that will promote his word, that will do his will. And when we do that, we are going to please the Lord. And heaven will do for us whatever we ask in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask you that, Lord, you remove heart of stone from us, O Lord. You remove unbelief from us, O Lord. Increase our faith in you, O King, and empower us to do your word, O King, and to walk in your will, O King. Open for us heaven, O Lord, and Father, pour your blessings upon us, O King. Take away every plan of the enemy from us. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray.